So this week doesn't just see the return of all of our favourite DCCW shows, but it also sees the return of Riverdale, which as you guys know is one of my favourite shows. I didn't expect it to be any good, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I ended up loving it. And now it has returned with its second season and well, the premiere episode was pretty great stuff. This picks up immediately after the season one finale where we see Fred Andrews has been shot and I really like the way this was done where Jughead is directly narrating it as always but really coinciding with what's actually happening on screen with Ang with uh, Archie driving his dad to the hospital who can't actually drive and I think that was actually a really cool scene really emotional scene as well um, it was done really well and Jughead's narration really made it Speaking of Jughead, how good was he in this episode? I mean, we kind of had some controversy surrounding him as we are kind of unsure whether he's joining the Southside Serpents, whether he's not. But seeing him with his new motorcycle or his dad's motorcycle, and he just looks so cool. And just the fact that he has a motorcycle now is just great. And, uh, you know, it's a great little scene with him and Betty together on the bike. It was just great. I loved it. I love Jughead even more. And that bike, it just adds more to his character. It really does. I really enjoyed all the character drama here, there's actually some really great scenes with Archie and Veronica which actually resolved in a good way, in a positive way, which I really liked actually. Also some of the stuff between Betty, Jughead and also Betty's mother, really great stuff, you know, we all know that, um, that Alice Cooper isn't exactly the biggest fan of Jughead, so that's really cool to see. And you know, these character interactions is what makes Riverdale so strong a lot of the time, and it really does prove that here in this episode. I also really loved a lot of the alternate reality sort of scenes that we got that always were taking place in Fred Andrew's head or Archie's head, where we see kind of future events or potential future events being interrupted by the same man who shot Fred. I think that was actually some really cool imagery there. There were some really awesome scenes, some really dark and twisted scenes too, which is what Riverdale is great at. So I think that was really interesting. There was some really interesting and dark stuff there. Really well done. Also, Cheryl was great in this episode. We didn't get a lot of Cheryl in this episode, but the scene, basically, we got two scenes with Cheryl, and both of them qu quite different, but one of them in particular, where she's with her mother in the hospital, is just so top-class Cheryl, and it works so well for her character. It just shows, really, even after all this, how twisted and evil she is, and it just works so well for her character, and, and Madeleine Petch does such a good job with this character. It's perfect casting. And the final scene was really surprising to me. We see the return of Miss Grundy, and she is teaching a new student who I'm pretty sure is Betty's long-lost brother. I'm pretty sure that's who that character was. Not 100% on that, though. Um, and then we see the same killer who shot Fred actually kill Miss Grundy. So Miss Grundy is actually dead, which took me completely off guard. That was completely a surprise. But fair play for surprising me, and it's interesting to see who this character was. So what did you guys think about the premiere of Riverdale? I think it was a very strong opening. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think season one of Riverdale was such a surprise hit, and I think season two is going to be a great season. I'm still not very positive about the 22-episode run. I think that's still a bit of a dodgy move to do, but I kind of expected it, considering how well the first season did. But if this episode is anything to go off of, then season two is definitely going to be a strong follow-up to season one.